Football Manager is a huge game, full of so much information that if you actually try to read all of it, you'll never hit continue again and then just dissipate into nothing on top of a giant pile of analytics. So here we try to shed some light on a few of those things you didn't know about Football Manager. If you are a fan of obscure kits like I am, be sure to check out Sangalo in the description. This is a ridiculously awesome kit from Highlanders FC in Zimbabwe, made available through their website to increase clubs exposure from around the world and give people like you and myself access to awesome jerseys we wouldn't otherwise be able to get. You can also get kits like Paro FC from the Bhutanese League or maybe Hanoi FC's more your speed. The link's in the description. They're great people with great shirts. The first thing you didn't know about Football Manager is an urban myth. You can have a son in the game. Now, if you're like, oh, pff, I knew that, you've played a lot of Football Manager because the most conservative estimate is that you have a son in the game once every 600 or so youth intakes. That's like 600 years of playing Football Manager. Are you okay? Because I am certainly not. You want to watch me play Football Manager, you can of course check out the Twitch stream in the description, but you won't see me having a son because it's never actually happened to me. In order for you to have a son or buy Football Manager 2025 when women's leagues are in the game, a daughter as well, you need to be over the age of 40 and then just get really lucky. There are a couple of threads on the SI forums talking about different people who had their one son come through. Sometimes they were bad every once in a while, they were good. That would be getting lucky after getting lucky. But the way you know it's your son is they'll share the same surname and when you go into overview information, you'll be under their favored personnel as a parent. And if you ever have a child who ends up winning the Ballon d'Or, I think you just win the game. Like they just give you free football manager for life or something. Number two, this one is from the actual player screen. We've all spent a lot of time on this screen. Might look a little different. This one has the Zealand skin on it. It's just a bit of retexturing to make it look better, at least we think. And you might have gone through all of these tabs at the top. But what is often overlooked, and by often overlooked, I mean used by nearly no one ever, ever, is the find similar players button which will instantly create a search for players based off the best attributes of the player you're searching from. It will pick up to seven attributes, and if you have a world-class player like David Bulow, those seven attributes will max out at 15, and then immediately highlight players you have knowledge of that are able to match in those attributes. If you search from a worse player, look, no offense to Malachi Reeve, but he's still a lot better than me, then it will still pick a good selection of attributes and cap them at whatever the player's cap was, tackling, leadership, natural fitness, determination, determination and jumping reach, all things Malachi Reeve is good at, and apparently 1,555 other players. But if you're ever in a situation where you're going, huh, I really need to find somebody to replace this guy, there is a tool for that that can start your search for you. Number three, the developers of Football Manager are actually in the game. If you play a few years into a save and then go to the top bar and type in face in the game, no capitalization or spaces, you bring up a list of the game's developers who appear in every single save game as a new gen. They'll have the correct nationality and the same name. So if you ever felt like you were hallucinating, like you'd seen 75 Adrian Mihalescu's because you started 75 different saves, well, that guy has existed in all of those saves because it is a developer that's working on the football manager game. They can be great or terrible. Like for example, this Jake Wright guy is actually in the English national team while Graham Dodds is, well, he's in the Premier League too. He's good, he's okay. This guy's also pretty good. Well, most of them aren't bad. Well, he's only worth 130 million. He's not, he's not much. It's just a little homage to themselves that they include in the game as a bit of an Easter egg. Whoa, what's, what's that one? That's a, that's a subscribe button to this channel. Wow, thanks football manager. Number four, on the player screen, you do have a tool to actually break down the performance of your player based on the position they are playing. If you go to development and tactics and then look down here, you can see games played by position, not just for your club, but for international matches as well. So if a player is performing particularly well internationally and not well for you, the secret to that might be right here. But a healthy breakdown of goals, assists, and overall match ratings, as well as overall appearances at various positions can help educate you as to why a player is succeeding or not succeeding or how they may succeed if you use them properly. This can also smash any recency bias about somebody not being able to perform at a position or somebody being able to perform at a position over the course of a year, the stats don't lie as much. Number five, on the tactics screen, if you've got a big squad like I often do and you need to replace a player at a position, but you don't feel like scrolling around and reading a bunch of names, you can click right next to the I on the actual tactics screen itself 
and it will present you with a list of every player that is capable of playing that position. This is particularly helpful when you have a few versatile players that maybe you forgot could play that position in the first place. Here is an example of me on stream today forgetting that I put this feature in the script for this video. Oh, that's not good. Mom, I'm out of players. We just put guys out there that have no idea how to play the position. I'm about to. Number six, if you've ever had a penalty and had somebody step up to take it that isn't your designated penalty taker. Oh my goodness, I can't believe my eyes. It's because you didn't notice a very well hidden ticked box. You set your penalty takers, but you didn't notice this. Allow player who has scored two goals to take penalty. This is essentially the hat trick hunting command. You can leave it selected if you want that player to go for a hat trick, but if you just want your best penalty taker to always take the penalty, you can uncheck it. It starts checked though, so that can be disorienting, especially when you're blowing a team out. You want your goalkeeper to take the next penalty, but they don't because somebody is hunting a meaningless hat trick. It can be frustrating. Number seven, you can see every youth intake in the entire world, no matter what scouting package you have. If you go to the globe up top and then click over to the continents and then you click on world, there is a transfers section. When you go into transfers, there is a drop down menu for the type of transfer that you would like to look at. In that drop down menu, there's a youth intake section. You then sort by date and we see we have a youth intake for Chile that happened on October 27th. This is every new Chilean player that came into the game. Happy scouting. Oh, it's Brazil's intake, spicy. Youth intakes hit most of the way through the domestic season. So in South America, that's around October. Obviously, it's around March for England and a whole host of other places. There are websites like this one that will tell you the youth intake dates of countries around the world. But if you look at this every week, you'll probably have something to thumb through. Number eight, we're back on the player screen. If you go to reports and analysis, you can see an unbelievable mind-bending amount of detail about how players have performed. All you do is select a particular match and then it will load the full 90 minutes of that entire performance. You can see the player's average position with the ball, without the ball, and overall, where they completed dribbles, where they were offside. Let's say this isn't enough information. You want to see the one dribble that Dominic Kish pulled off. Well, you can hover over the dot and watch the highlight and it will zip you into the game to watch that particular move. The applications for this are endless and I feel like myself included, nobody realizes exactly how deep detailed the analytics get when you start to poke around in this particular screen. You can even isolate areas of the pitch in which incidents occurred so that you can eliminate types of incidents that you don't care about, like a player checking back. You just want to see what touches they get when you're going forward while well, you just remove the back half of the field. Number nine, your players can come out as gay. This doesn't happen a lot in Football Manager, but when it does, you get a small boost to merchandise sales and really nothing else happens. It's just something that can happen in Football Manager. Number 10, you can filter who you offer your players out to and remove entire leagues from consideration. If you're on a player's screen and you go to transfer offer to clubs, where we spend a lot of time trying to sell players that nobody wants, you then slide over to targets. This has a ton of applications from I don't want to play against this guy to I'm in the prem and the only serious offers I'm going to get are from Premier League teams to stop offering me a six pence and a barrel of wheat for this guy. On the right side, you can offer out to specific clubs as long as you can search them in a notoriously not easy to use team finder, or you can just offer out to other human head coaches in an online safe. You could probably make this video a hundred more times with interesting little tidbits from Football Manager, but today we'll leave it here. I'll see you on stream. If you want to keep watching videos, here is me visiting my actual Football Manager club in real life. It was a good time.